Appalachian Wellness for a New Tomorrow and a New You. I'm Raymond Owenbrink, President and CEO of Appalachian Wellness here in Asheville. You can follow us on social media. This is a review of the VIP trial protocol or how to give the first dose of VIP, vasoactive intestinal peptide. First, we have to make sure that the patient qualifies with all the material that we've checked before. The TGFB1 has to still be elevated. The uh, MSH and C4, ERMI and HERTZME2 all have to be within the appropriate parameters. When you go to have the uh, TGFB1 drawn, bring a glass of ice water along to pre-chill the tube and make sure the lab tech understands. Lavender tube, double spun, refrigerated immediately. Platelet pour plasma has to be uh, used. The VIP must be kept refrigerated. Draw the baseline lipase of EGF C4A TGFB1. Give the VIP, repeat that blood work in 15 minutes if tolerated. You don't have to repeat the lipase necessarily, but at least the VEGF, C4A, and TGFB1. Continue two puffs nasally of the VIP four times a day. Reevaluate monthly, and don't forget to draw that lipase monthly. In six months, the dose could be replaced from four times a day to twice a day, and then slowly to once a day, providing there is no re-exposure. If there is re-exposure, you're back to square one. You've got to stop. You've got to look all over, find out where is the problem, what happened, how can we get away from it. Use the cholestyramine, use the well call, use whatever else is necessary, depending on what your doctor tells you you have to take, and just be patient. This disease will kill you if you don't do everything exactly right, and it will certainly get your attention by making you suffer. Thank you.